This video is sponsored by Shockflow and their G1 40 amp 2-in-1 portable EV charger. But more on that later in the video. I'd say it's gonna be a fun one today, but I think you already know that. Let's go take a look at Lake Tahoe. All right, but before we do that, let's rewind back to earlier today when we were leaving Reno. All right, we are taking off for South Lake Tahoe from Reno. We're up here in Reno, going down here. Yeah, just a little over, about an hour. So let's get on the road and I will see you in Lake Tahoe. Oh yeah, and it says we'll arrive with 37% in Lake Tahoe. down here into Lake Tahoe. You'll see the lake coming up here in about five seconds. Oh, just one of the most beautiful lakes I've ever seen. All right, so just got here to Lake Tahoe. Uh, before we go to the supercharger, I, I found a spot to park here along the side. So we're gonna walk over to the water. Uh, from what I can see from here, it looks amazing. I've been here before. It was one of the most refreshing swims I've ever had, if that makes any sense. It's just like exhilarating. The water's like cold, but like it just felt so clean and good. And I don't know, it's just, it's uh, and natural, I guess that's the word. But let's go take a quick walk over there and I'm just pumped to do that. And then I'm only gonna be here for a little bit today. And then we're off to Yosemite. I have a very short, tight schedule. Um, I need to get back to Vegas tomorrow. So I'm planning to just hang out here for like an hour or two, uh, walk around, maybe bike, grab some lunch and charge of course, and then head off to Yosemite, which I'm gonna go to the Eastern side and then try to go in that way. And it looks like uh, it should be probably around three hour drive probably get in maybe around five or six and explore as much as I can. And then tomorrow morning, try to explore a little bit before taking off for Vegas. All right, let's go over to Lake Tahoe and take a look. Well, I'm sure you can already see it there in the background. <laughs> it's just so blue. All right, that was fun. Uh, let's head back to the car now, then head to the supercharger so we can get charged up and head all the way down to Yosemite National Park. If you do wanna see more on Lake Tahoe, I actually did a video on it uh, about a year and a half ago. So I will make sure to link to it down in the description below. Oh, and I will say though, if you are gonna come to the area, I'd say probably head to the Nevada side towards Zephyr Cove and then find a parking spot along the road there. And then you can just walk into this whole area right here. There's a beach that goes along this entire area here. And that's probably your best bet. Gotta get here early though, to get your spot. Yeah, still got some snow ahead up there, but it's showing right now, 76 degrees. And I'm gonna run to the grocery store. A Safeway right here, which actually is the same parking lot that Anytime Fitness is in. 
if you're ever in town and need a place and you have a membership and need to shower, it's right over there to the right. Yeah, right up straight ahead is Anytime Fitness. And then you got the post office right there. You got Wells Fargo right there. And Safeway to the left here. Could I get uh, an Italian sub? Oh, just a, a drumstick and a breast. That's it. and just put them in the cooler. Yeah, these subs, I know they're good because I've gotten them before here. These board has one. Normal, I guess, I don't know what they call it. I guess large or something, but it's like a foot long at Subway. It's $18, <laughs> kind of crazy. Uh, put that in there. I do gotta make those chicken wing bites or whatever. Those in there, so they don't melt in the car. And that, and the sandwich. Should be good to go. So yeah, all stocked up, ready to go. Uh, I'm just gonna go charge real quick. I think it's at the Hard Rock Hotel, and then get on our way. And that actually is a great segue into our sponsor for today's video, Shockflow. The Shockflow G1 40 amp portable J1772 level two charger is light at just over 10 pounds and comes in this sleek black carrying case, which easily fits in your frunk, sub trunk, under the seat, or even in the shallow sub trunk. What's cool about this one is it's a two in one charger. You use it as a portable charger when you're on the road at campgrounds or even like hotels or friends houses that have a 50 amp plug or as a home wall charger in your garage. It's quick and powerful and can charge it 10 times faster than a standard 110 volt wall charger and adds 36 miles of range per hour at up to 9.6 kilowatts when using level two charging. It's IP67 water and dust proof. It's run over proof, lightning proof, not gonna test that, and operates at a temperature of minus 22 Fahrenheit to plus 122 Fahrenheit. It's got a 20 foot charging cable and it's compatible with J1772 plug-in electric cars and shock flow is nice enough to include their Tesla J1772 adapter which is sold separately. It also comes with smart charging, which allows you to plug in, but set the time of day or night when your electricity cost is low. So you get the most out of your charging sessions for the least cost. You can of course do this on your Tesla as well. The charger comes with free shipping, a risk-free 30 day return policy, and a three year warranty. The Shockflow G1 comes with the charger, carrying case, wall mount for your home, and user manual in the box. The Tesla J1772 adapter is sold separately, but I'll leave links to both along with any discount codes in the description down below. I'm just gonna flip it up, turn it on. All right, let's go ahead and get it plugged in. Currently available on Shockflow for 30% off at $245. And if there is a discount code, I will make sure to put it in the description below so you can save even more. These are new. <clears throat> All right, got my ticket. <clears throat> yeah, there was no uh, ticket before. This actually would uh, cut down on stealth camping. Well, I mean, you gotta pay for it anyways. 
Yeah, I just thought about that. So real quick before I go and uh, charge, I'll show you where I used to stealth cam. If you go back to my video, which I'll link in the description below, just past where that van is right there, the Sprinter van, that's where I stealth camped like a year and a half ago. But now they put in these parking things. And I imagine just like Caesars in Vegas, unless you have like a higher up, you know, loyalty, you know, level or whatever, part of the loyalty program, you're probably not gonna get free. So now 24 hours is $18. That's still cheaper than a hotel, but just know that you're gonna have to pay 18 bucks and you probably won't be able to leave and come back. It says platinum and multi-platinum backstage pass rewards members get free. Now for charging, as long as you leave within the first hour, that's fine, then it's free. And this is the one that I could not come to last time because I had a rooftop cargo box at that point. But with the rear cargo box from Yakima, no issues. Oh yeah, they got a ton of them. Yeah, this is like the lowest parking garage ever. All right, so let's get plugged in here. In fact, I could have just entered, I think, right there, but... Oh no, I couldn't have, because you did have to go through the thing, through the gate. All right, so just arrived here at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Lake Tahoe. Uh, you can see it's called State Line, Nevada. It's uh, first hour of parking is free. Anything over that, they charge hourly. And then otherwise, if you stay overnight, if you want to go through those gates that you just saw when I pulled in, which are new, those are, then it's $18 per day. But yeah, we have 32%. I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and plug in so we can get on our way to Yosemite. All right, let's go get charged up. Also, for anybody wondering about backing into superchargers, I have not had one that doesn't work. They all work. You know, I had a guy once comment that, oh, how can you say they all do? They all do. I've been to literally hundreds of them all across the country. They all work. Uh, now, ones that have an opening in the back between the two like this, those obviously work a little bit better. Uh, but even if you have to pull up right to it, all the cords that we currently have, they all fit just fine. This is 14 stalls up to 150 kilowatt. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the directions for where we're going. Well, actually I could probably bring it up right now. Mammoth Lakes. All right, so that's the one we're gonna eventually wanna to go to. It's 105 miles away. So we wanna go there. I was looking for superchargers along the way, which I don't need. Okay, so I have 35%. It's saying that I need to get 8% more to get there. But we're actually not gonna go all the way there. I forgot about this, okay. Cause we wanna go into Yosemite here. Uh, and that is at Lee Vining. That's where we wanna go in. And so to do that and have enough to get in there and explore a little bit and things like that, I forgot the place where I'm gonna camp is just past Mammoth Lakes here. Uh, kind of heading back Southeast toward Vegas. And so I think Bridgeport, there is an Electrify America. And so I'm gonna to try to just make it to Bridgeport, use Electrify America, charge up there. It said it has up to 350 kilowatt. Uh, obviously the Tesla will only go up to 250 kilowatt, but should get max speeds then out of that. And then I can go in here and go into Yosemite without having to go down to Mount Flakes and then backtrack. So that's kind of the plan. Uh, let's see how long, it, I probably only have to be here about 15 minutes. I'm gonna eat some lunch and then we'll head on our way. All right, so got my chicken here. Got my trusty table tray, which I can use for laptop to do work, or of course, eat lunch. Ended up getting a four piece fried chicken for the price of two baked chicken pieces. Works for me. When you're on the road, like I am, is keep little things of ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, uh, things of little salt packets, pepper packets, things like that. Only probably gonna eat two pieces right now. And always make sure you have little plastic forks around too. And some napkins. All right, so I'm gonna finish this and then it should be time to head off to Yosemite. 
Here we go, a little snack for later. Pull this back. And then just throw that in here somewhere. Cover that up to keep the sun from directly hitting it and you're good. One for anybody wondering, that last trip uh, to Lake Tahoe here from Reno shows 358 watt hours per mile. So not as good as yesterday, a little bit higher, but still not terrible. All right, so I ended up sticking around a while. I ended up actually answering a bunch of comments and stuff on the channel. And so all the way up to 94%. All right, I'm actually gonna run inside to the bathroom real quick and then unhook on the way back. And then we'll get out of here and head down toward Yosemite National Park. All right, let's get on the road for Yosemite. Oh, and if you're wondering, that was $15.51, up to 97%. And that golf course on the left, that's where Steph Curry recently won a tournament and hit a hole in one. 11th career appearance here at the American Century Championship for Steph, five top tens, finished four three times. And as we have said earlier today and in previous years, and it's obvious he can really play. Boy, this is right at it if it gets there. How about that? Oh, 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 are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> In 500 feet, turn left onto Lake Tahoe Boulevard. Last time when it was coming down this mountain, uh, it was there was a wildfire that was nearby, so everything was so smoky you could barely see, and it was a little bit hard to breathe actually. All right, see all that water down there? There's so much snow at higher elevations that they got this year that. There's, it's causing flooding, not only in rivers and streams, but just in general. So the route that we're taking did say that there was, well, I guess it's more so on the backside, on the Western side of Yosemite, that there was a lot of flooding and be prepared, you know, like it could be a life-threatening situation type thing. I don't think that's as much the case on the Eastern side that we'll be taking, which is actually a lot shorter of a drive. So hopefully we'll be okay. But uh, yeah, you can see as we pull up here on the right, right, you can see all that snow that's still up there, even though it's 72 and sunny right now where I'm at, there's still a bunch of snow up there. And it's not that it's that cold up there, although it is colder, it's there, they just got so much of it. at your destination. All right, let's try to find the 350 kilowatt one. Let's see, should be, yeah, here we go. This one right here should be 350. Right, so we arrived in Bridgeport here. We were up here near South Lake Tahoe and then came down around here. Got to Bridgeport in really good time. We're here at 524. Should still have about three hours of daylight, which is great to do a little exploring. 
and we got to go down here to like Lee Vining and then go over to Yosemite. But I have 62%, so I should have enough to go down here, over, explore a little bit, and then come back, and then down to Mammoth Lakes. That, you can see, is where the other supercharger is. I don't know what's open and what's not right now, because there's a lot of stuff closed, a lot of roads closed from flooding, from the snow melt, things like that. But we're going to go down here to Lee Vining, which is only, I think, about 20, 25 minutes, then cut over toward Yosemite. We have 62% and we'll just charge up at an Electrify America, maybe get up to like 80, 85%. I'm at a 350 kilowatt charger. Of course, the Model Y can only take 250 kilowatts. So uh, we're gonna put in, you know, I don't know, maybe 15, 20%. Then we should have plenty to go explore around Yosemite and then head back to Mammoth Lakes. All right, let's go get hooked up. You can see this is a 350 kilowatt charger is also 350 kilowatts uh, CCS so let me get my CCS adapter this is right here I'm actually just gonna take the whole thing out easier to put it right here then here's the official CCS adapter from Tesla we're gonna go ahead connect this then i'll use the electrify america app which i have a membership so it's only like four or five dollars a month for and then i pay a lot less per kilowatt hour so let's go ahead and get connected and go in here oh charger unavailable oh shocking <laughs> it's totally just like i would thought you'd be electrify america yeah let's just talk about this Charger unavailable. I'm gonna hurry up and move just in case because I want this 350 kilowatt and this does show that it's working. I would say from every other YouTuber that you watch, watch when they take out like their uh, Rivian or their Lucid or whatever. 50% of Electrify Americas don't work. I don't even know how it's a viable business. I don't even know that it is, but it's absurd. Okay, let's move and try this one. By the way, from the time that I moved from there to here, it just showed yeah, unavailable on this one now. <laughs> it's, dude, like these, they're not even, this is not a real business. Hey, Electrify America, fuck you. I cannot recommend any other vehicle besides Tesla simply because the charging network across all other platforms is horrendous in the United States. All right, we'll try that one. All right, so we're going to open the Electrify America app. Just felt it. it. Says there's two errors. <laughs> Doesn't work. All right, it tells me to plug in first, so I'll do that. This behemoth on. Okay. <laughs> Get it straight. Okay, plugged in. Connecting to vehicle, tap your phone. Just tapped it, not charging. Literally it says tap your phone. That's what I'm doing. I, I hear it say, reader is requesting payment and nothing happens. All right, so I went over to this one, to the last one, which is only 150 kilowatt. It actually works. This session is complimentary, courtesy of Electrify America. Well, it better be, because <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my God, like this. By the way, broken, 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 broken. Don't work. <laughs> and only, well, okay, we're only getting 70, but that kind of makes sense at 63%. I'm only gonna charge for about 15 more minutes, and then I'm gonna run inside, go to the bathroom, grab something, you know, like a snack, and then let's let's get out of here. But man, this is ridiculous. All right, so up to 81%. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug. Let's go ahead and go on the screen. You always wanna do that in here. Just click on charging and just hit stop charging whenever you're using like a CCS and then hit unlock charge port. Yep. Yeah. Take this off. Back to normal. Put it in there. Oh. 
Throw this back in its rightful case. All right, well, my great idea didn't pan out at all. So apparently this road right here <clears throat> from Levining into Yosemite on the east side is not open. I think it's 120, yeah. Yeah, 120, which I was gonna take, that's the east entrance. It's not open, it closed it, like right here. Uh, I just looked on Apple Maps, it shows closed like right there, all the way in. It says winter conditions, there's probably flooding and stuff like that from the snow melt. So that's why it was trying to send me all around. Six hours and 52 minutes. It's not happening. <laughs> Gotta be back in Vegas unfortunately. So I think I'm just going to kind of head. Well, that, I mean, that really sucks. I really wanted to go to Yosemite. I don't see another way in there. That's the only way from the east. So I don't, yeah, I don't see because we're right here. It'd be so easy just to go right in. I was hoping to go see like El Capitan and you know, all that stuff. So uh, yeah, I guess right now I'm just going to head toward Mammoth Lakes right here. Try to make it up to you guys, but nothing I can do about that. I'll have to go back another time. Mammoth Lakes is right here. I mean, we'll have, like, we really don't even probably need to stop there, but we'll see. Um, let's head that way, 57 minutes. We'll kind of just head that way and play it by ear from there. So I saw a sign that said Tioga Pass, Yosemite, 12 miles. So I might try that one. We'll see. I'm doing my best, guys. <laughs> yeah, at least we tried. Road closed four miles ahead. Tioga Pass closed. I'm just gonna ask if there's any other way to get in from the east. Alright, so yeah, I went inside the gas station here and confirmed, she said, yep, it's the only entrance from the east side, which is why maps from, you know, Apple Maps probably tried to take me around every time. And I was like, I just didn't want me to go all the way around to the west side, which is like six and a half hour drive. Now we know. <laughs> but there was nothing that showed in all of the times that I actually typed in, there's nothing that popped up that said, oh, you could go this way, but it's closed. It just routed me around instead. I think I'm probably just gonna end up heading back to Vegas tonight and stealth camping in Vegas. Uh, so that'll be the next video. And then I'm gonna grab my stuff. I'm gonna head up to Colorado for a little while and then on to Minnesota for camping around there, around the Midwest uh, and just having a lot of fun. Doing a lot of fishing, of course, land of 10,000 lakes and tons of other things, hiking, biking, all that stuff. All right, so if you enjoyed today's video, which I hope you did, I apologize that it didn't end in Yosemite, but if you enjoyed it and want to see more like it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next travel quick tip or review video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.